it's basically like a flying Wally that can take trash and clean it up, but it does it in space and it uses solar sails to propel it. So this is coming out of Embry Riddle University. They're partnering with NASA. Nice. And they use similar technology that we talked about in the first article, you know, these carbon composite rollable uh, solar sails. They do that and they attach it to a small cube satellite that has a robotic arm on it. And what this robotic arm does is it picks up trash and, you know, basically takes it and deposit it, deposits it in the atmosphere to burn up and get rid of it. But what's the problem here? Like, so do, do we need trash men in space? It's something that I was wondering when I was reading this, but it turns out it's actually a pretty big problem and it's only going to get worse. So there are 27,000 pieces of space debris that can travel up to 15,000 miles an hour just in orbit around Earth. And that poses a serious threat for spacecraft, like other satellites, and then especially what we care about is human life. So astronauts, we're sending a lot more manned missions into space. Um, I know that in the next four years, there are 21 different countries that are going to send mission-critical satellites to the moon. These are issues that, you know, it's only going to get worse as we send more things into space. This space debris comes from old satellites and old launches. So we need a way to clean this up and make sure that we're not posing any threat to our missions and especially to any astronauts that are on board. Right. So they've got this basically, like I said, it flying Wally's, you know, a uh, trash service for space waste management that's flying around. And this, this, uh, satellite uses solar sails to propel itself. So it doesn't need any fuel and it can sustainably travel around the earth orbit, collect trash, descend down to the atmosphere, deposit it, and then go back up and pick pick up more trash. So I, I'm actually kind of happy we did solar sails again because I just remembered a question I forgot to ask you during during the first one. But how how does it change directions using its solar sails? Because the, the sun is coming down in one direction, right? Um, does it change the angle of the sails itself? Or how does that work? Yeah, that's, it, that's the closest explanation to it that I think is you, you want to change the angle of the sail. And the reason why is because the the direction that the light is coming, it'll push against the sail at a different angle. So it'll move the craft in a different direction. And so, they've got a motor on this thing that changes the angle of the sail to allow the satellite to either go up or down in altitude. It basically goes up to the altitude. The high altitude is where all the space junk is. So it's traveling around at, at this altitude and it's using the robotic arm to grab stuff and put it inside its internal compartment then it uses the sail angles it downward so that it descends and it goes down there about go. 300 okay. kilometers to you know the edge of the earth's atmosphere and what it does is it basically just drops the trash off and it burns in the atmosphere so the trash is not a headache anymore for anyone in space burns up in the atmosphere and it's gone so it's not a headache anymore for anyone in space that's great i'm assuming it's not great to burn up trash in the atmosphere over and over and over again. Like there's gotta be yeah. some pollution associated I mean, with that. There's a reason why burning trash is illegal in most municipalities, you know, around the world is because it does terrible things for the air quality. So we don't want this headache from space to become a headache for us back on earth. But you know, as people get more, you know, as technology develops and people get better at reducing the amount of space junk, we hope that, you know, this practice won't be needed forever. Um, you know, I think of companies like SpaceX that are creating reusable rockets. You know, that's different from everyone else who would shoot a rocket into space and leave it there. Um, they can reuse these boosters. So we're doing our best to reduce space junk. But in the meantime, with all these new missions coming up, as well as old satellites that will be decommissioned soon, we need a way to clean up that space junk and get rid of it so that it doesn't, you know, cause any major injuries or failures for, f for future missions. So we're and basically cleaning up our previous trash using Wally, but from now on, we know to do better and prevent yeah. all so this trash. So we hope we can reduce and reuse and recycle before we throw <laughs> stuff away. Um, but, and the, the great thing about it is they say this thing takes next to no energy. It can be completely sustainable. They say it has infinite life. And what they mean by infinite life is it uses the solar cell for propul solar sail for propulsion, which, you know, as long as the sun is burning, this thing will be able to move itself up and down throughout the atmosphere. And the robotic arm and all the controls are powered by a solar panel. So as long as the sun's burning, this thing has infinite energy to keep running. And they say, so it, they can keep it, send it up into space, keep it there, and it can keep cleaning up as long as we want. And whenever we decide this thing is done, 
you know, it'd be kind of antithetical for this thing that's supposed to be cleaning up trash to go up into space and then become a piece of space junk on its own when it's decommissioned. So they say at the very end, they've got this protocol written in that they can ha cause it to descend, go down into the lower, you know, part of the atmosphere and it will burn up itself. So it oh, cleans man, up after itself sad. when it's done. That's just upsetting now. You have this like dedicated little robot cleaning up the space for us humans to travel and then at the end of its life, instead of retiring and living out the rest of its life in, I don't know, a peaceful portion of the space, we're just like, go burn yourself up. Well, I think it's better, you know, it's not a, not a happy ending, but I think it's better than, you know, it, its entire purpose being to get rid of space trash. And then the way it ends its life is becoming space trash. That's a good point. Maybe this could be like a Wally sequel, a darker yeah. one. Yeah, a little happy ending, happy sad ending to that movie.